Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. And today, I want to share with you guys a device that's never been reviewed on my channel before. It's something you are probably going to find on a lot of different channels. But what's great about YouTube is that when you subscribe to a YouTuber or an influencer like myself, you kind of get to know the person a little more, and you become kind of uh, you build a rapport and trust with that person. So, if you guys have watched my videos on reviewing Invicta or any of the hundreds of watches I have reviewed in the channel. Um, you know, it's, it's amazing, and, it, and I want to thank you guys for watching me and taking the time to listen to what I have to say. Uh, you know, with YouTube, you're always going to have people who are really positive about what you do, and then you have other people on there who are just the internet trolls. But the amount of people that I believe my videos help, because I know I watch a lot of guys uh, on YouTube from, you know, how to do things and car things, and, and it's really just, I mean, I think the, the, the most used website, at least for me, uh, is YouTube. I use it every single day. It is just amazing. And so, what I love about YouTube is that when you build rapport with a certain influencer, I can't tell you the number of times I just sold here. Let me give you an example. I just sold the other day a tracksuit, right? It was a vintage. So, I'm really uh, frugal when it comes to, uh, you know, pissing money away. I have done it over the years on, you know, booze and beer and, uh, and, and gambling, you know, but those are really the only two things I've really been kind of irresponsible with uh, over the years. And I think most of us, you know, I mean, beer is not cheap, uh, you know, casinos aren't cheap. And so that's really the only thing that I've kind of, you know, kind of splurged a little and spent money on that I probably shouldn't have. Uh, when it comes to other things, when I put my money into something, I always want to try to get my money back, or at least some of my money back, you know. And a lot of times people throw things away uh, when they really just could take the time and recoup some of their money. And yeah, I know it's a pain to deal with Facebook ads and or a Facebook uh, marketplace and uh, and Craigslist or classifieds, but really, uh, you know, now I haven't worked for a while because I've been taking some time off and I've been off for about a year and I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to take the rest of the summer off and then figure out my next step. But what I... what what I really enjoy uh, is having the time to be able to get rid of things and make money on them or get money back that normally, you know, if you're really busy, uh, you may not be able to do that. And I have to say that there are some things that, uh, you know, it's very easy to list things nowadays, especially on Facebook Marketplace and very easy to list them on Craigslist. And there are some things I have that I have on there now because I have extra time and I'm just, you know, I, I'm not, I, you know, I'm on my own schedule. So I don't have to we're about getting up and going anywhere. Uh, so I don't mind spending a little extra time saying something for five or 10 bucks, you know, if I'm gonna throw it away. If I feel like I can recoup five or $10 on it, I will. Now, a lot of times that's not necessarily worth somebody's time. But with this whole COVID thing, people have gotten kind of used to uh, distance transactions or curbside pickups. So now when I sell something that, you know, let's say a camera bag or a laptop bag or whatever, and I throw it on Craigslist, I'll just basically tell the person, hey, listen, you know, drop the money in my mailbox, it's near the garage, pick it up. I got cameras all over the place. And most people, you know, they when they know that, if they're not there to rip you off, uh, they're gonna do the right thing. So when it comes to being frugal like that, I'm a huge fan in uh, taking the time to try to recoup your money. And so, for instance, what I mean by the trust thing, and I know you guys are like, what is he talking about? So when it comes to the trust thing, I sold a tracksuit the other day on Craig's or on uh, YouTube, and a guy he's into that. I bought him when I was in more of my hip hop days, um, you know, more of that style of baggy clothing in my in my teens. And I just kind of got out of that. You know, nothing wrong with it. I think it's fine. It's a beautiful tracksuit, but I never wore it anywhere. And I was anymore. I only wore it like twice. I sat in my closet for years, and I wanted to just try to recoup my money out of it. You know, it was like a hundred bucks maybe 200 bucks I bought it, but vintage stuff is pretty popular. So point being, I put it on uh, uh, eBay and the guy was going back and forth with uh, some offers and he was like, listen, I want more pictures, you know, I don't trust you, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, listen, you know, check out my YouTube channel. I'm not here to, uh, I'm giving you my word. Like what I'm saying is accurate. You know, this is a great value. This is a wonderful tracksuit. It's mint condition. It's perfect. It, there's no stains, nothing. You know, and a lot of times there are, you know, shady people out there. Well, I said, hey, you know, I run Fat Cat Collections. Check out my YouTube channel. There was instant that rapport there and that trust. He's like, oh, this guy's, you know, he's, He's legit. And so that's what I love about YouTube channels. When you have somebody who's legit and honest, and you have to be careful out there who you watch, because uh, there are people who just say things just to say them, you know. Uh, they're not giving you guys, you know, I guess if you've been watching me for a while, you guys know I'm brutally honest when it comes to products. And fortunately, there's a lot of really great products out there. Only a few that I reviewed that I've had bad luck with, and I always come back and re-review -re a product. 
So with this product, this is something that when it comes to uh, teeth care, I think is a no-brainer. And in the past, with this particular device, uh, it's been a nuisance to have to drag it out, fill it with water. Uh, water picks have never really traditionally been convenient. Well, as until now, so this is by Dr. B. B-E-I, I think I'm saying that correctly. And you guys know I never really get too involved in showing you guys the box. But here is the box. And what I tell you, this is fantastic. My point in giving you that long spiel was that I want you to trust me. This is fantastic. And a lot of times, you wouldn't think that a water pick, a battery-powered cordless water pick, would be all that great, but it is. And so, uh, again, so here's the box. Let me just show you one more time. Let me get this out of here and show you uh, the products. This is it right here. This is a wireless, battery-powered, cordless, portable water pick. And this thing is super convenient. You charge it up with a USB-C port. Is this the C port? I think it's a C port. No, USB, micro USB. Micro USB port on the side. And everything is contained. They really thought this product out. So how it works, is basically you charge it up. There's a status light on the side showing when you need to charge it and when it's fully charged. As you can see, let me go ahead and turn this on here. Oops. Help to help to use the power button, right? So you turn that on and it's on right now, but you can see where the status light is. Um, it's showing green, it's good. It'll illuminate red, if I remember correctly, uh, when it needs to be charged. You have three different power modes, high, medium, and low. By pressing the power button, you'll cycle that through power on low, high, medium, low, and then off. Um, everything is self-contained. So what you do with this thing, you basically slide the reservoir out and pop it down where it locks into one of the first, it comes off completely so you can clean it too. But it'll slide down. Don't turn it on while you're doing that. You spray yourself in the face. Don't do what I just did. And so you slide this down where it clicks in. There we go. Right there, I made that more difficult than it really had to be. It's not that difficult. And so you fill, basically fill this with water by removing the, the top cap here. And underneath there is your fill spout, and you'll basically pop this out. And this is your water pick, and that basically attaches right to the top of the device. And what you do is you basically just pull that out. You press the button on the side, and that will lock it into place. It's a little release tab. There we go clicks into place, and then you fill this reservoir with water, and it's nice you don't have to fill the bottom and put it back like on the bottom. You can do that if you want, but I think it's convenient just to put it underneath your sink and fill it right from the top. Uh, only thing I found with it is you have to kind of keep it at an angle. Standard sinks, uh, this is going to be pretty large. Kitchen sink, this might work, but again, we're talking convenience here. You don't want to have to run downstairs. So you can tip it at an angle, or if you want, you can actually fill it by removing the reservoir, filling it up, and popping this on the top if you feel so inclined to do so. Either way, it's not that big a deal. And basically all you do is you adjust your spout. You don't have to have it facing that direction. I tend to use it like this. You turn it on and basically you water pick your teeth with it. Um, super convenient. It works every bit as good as any water pick that I've ever used in the past. Granted, it's been a long time since I've used a water pick before having this. But what I love about it is a water pick is a great tool to maintain healthy gums. Now, I'm no dentist, obviously. Uh, you know, I'm not that bright. So, so um, you know, but I, I do know that really flossing, brushing your teeth, flossing, and maintaining your gums is extremely important for a healthy mouth. Uh, lots of bacteria. It's kind of, I don't want to talk too much about that, but a lot of bacteria get in between the teeth, in the gums, and water is a great way of flossing, and that's really what you're doing. You're flossing with water. Um, what I like to do too, and I, I don't know if you guys uh, have done this, I used to put a little bit of Listerine uh, inside the water, and when you're actually uh, using this, you're, you're, you're basically freshen your breath and your gums. Uh, so I, you know, nothing's nastier than a foul mouth. And guys, there, there, there's no excuse to ever have bad breath. Now I know some people do have problems, and that's a different story, but for lack of effort, there's really no excuse to really get in your gums and cl deep clean your gums. This is fantastic. Uh, works great, does exactly what it says it does, it's convenient, it's easy to travel with. Um, again, water picks traditionally have been this big thing you pull out from underneath the sink, you have to fill the reservoir. It, now, as far as mess, water picks are messy, that's the only thing, you're going to make a mess of your mirror. Just know that, keep a towel handy when you use this. Now, if you have a mirror in the shower, you could use it in the shower. This is not waterproof, so do this at your own discretion. I don't recommend you take this in the shower and douse it. Uh, as far as the, let me just double check that. As far as any kind of weather or water resistance, it does not have any kind of IP rating. Uh, so just kind of use it. 
Actually, I'm gonna say I don't recommend doing that. I'll do that, but um, I'm careful with things. So, uh, but you, if you do it in front of your sink or whatnot, totally fine. Uh, use it like you would any other water pick. I, sh I don't think I have to explain that. If you don't know how to use a water pick, just Google it, YouTube it, do something. Uh, we're not doing that today. But that's it. Really convenient, super easy to take with you. This will fit in your um, your ditty bag or. or Whatever you may travel with, your purse, ladies. Um, you know, it's just a really convenient way to water pick floss your teeth. Um, and that's been the issue that I've had with one because it's kind of a pain. And I know, you know, I know when I say it's a pain, I don't mean it as, you know, if you, you make time and you make excuses for things that you want to do. We all do that. So I know that convenience is a big thing when it comes to a lot of people. And it is for me as well. And if something's easy to use, you're going to be more inclined to use it often. Now, now really, <clears throat> there's no excuse to maintain your gums. Flossing, I will say, does take time. Water, using a water pick does take time. What a lot of us do, you know, especially in a hurry, we're running to work when we did work, um, you know, it, it's, you know, I used to get up at two o'clock in the morning and go to work. So it's like, you know, you get in, you brush real quick and you're flying out the door, you know? So, you know, I never was a type of person that would get up, spend two hours getting ready in the morning, you know, having my coffee. It was like, bam, to work, ready to go. And I would do that fun leisure stuff, you know, relaxing, showering, and cleaning up after work. Everybody's schedule is different. Everybody's life is different. Uh, everybody's routine is different. But what one thing I will say, I think that um, is common with this device with anybody, again, is the convenience factor. It's very easy to pull this out of your drawer in the kitchen, or in, not the kitchen, but in your bathroom, uh, not have to, again, water picks, again, you have to pull them out, fill the reservoir. There's a big giant you know, tube coming out, and just, it's, is it a huge deal? Not really, if you really think about the big picture, but, you know, it doesn't take much for us to, uh, you know, especially in today's day and age of convenience, for us to make an excuse to say, oh, this is too much work, too much, you know, too, too, it's not convenient. I don't want to pull this thing out every time I use it. And that's kind of why a lot of people don't use water picks and why people just, you know, just brush. And I think, again, this is, I'm just giving you guys my opinion on why I think this is a great device. And first and foremost, the, the biggest thing about it is not the fact that it's portable, and it's, but you can, it's easy to transport, or it's easy to put in your ditty bag or your, your you know, your suitcase. Um, what's not that it's battery powered. What's great about it is the convenience factor that it's small. You can put it in your drawer, you pull it out, and it's it's pretty much ready to go with not a lot of effort. You fill the sucker up in the morning, and you can probably have this done within five minutes. And that's not a lot of time out of your day to have healthy gums and maintain uh, good you know good healthy gums. So uh, again, read more about the benefits of water picking. I'm just here to show you guys the product. I think it's great. It's definitely something that I've been using, and I'll continue to use uh, just for some of. The, I got this idiot the other day. You know, YouTuber, YouTube trolls are everywhere. And no matter how nice you are, no matter, you know, you always have people in this world who like you or don't like you. And one guy told me that, you know, I need to fix my grill. Guys, I take a lot of pride in my teeth. They're all straight. Years of orthodontic work. Uh, you know, I mean, it, you know, and, and, you know, it's unfortunate for people that there are nasty people out there because I couldn't, you know, if, I'm confident in myself where I feel great about the way I look, I feel great about the way I feel, and you know, I, and I, I encourage you guys to get to that point, whatever you have to do to get there. I do feel bad for people, and there are a lot of people who do have, who are in need of dental work, and, and, and guys, I just want to say, in today's day and age, be compassionate to people. Don't be a friggin' stupid internet troll. I mean, if you're that miserable in your life, I do feel sorry for you. If you're that miserable, you have to go around and try to stir the pot when it comes to people who are enjoying what they're doing, reviewing products, products to help people like this. Um, you know, and there's always help out there. You know, if you are in a situation where, you know, you do have a breath, bad breath problem, try something like this. It, with, with a little bit of scope or Listerine in there, this might help. There's lots of different tools out there we can all use to try to be the best version of ourselves. And I'm not saying be, you know, some over-the-top, you know, gym rat. Or You have to do what makes you happy and what makes you feel good about yourself. My point is that anything you can do to make yourself feel better about yourself is great. And for me, when I use a water pick, I know that my teeth are not only clean on the outside, but clean behind the teeth, the gums. I know that my breath is fresh and clean, and that's something that makes me feel good. So uh, that's just me. I can only give you guys my personal opinion on these products and why I find a, um, you know, a benefit or find value in stuff like this, and this is definitely one that I find value in. Again, super easy, pop the top off, tuck it away, put the cap on it, and you're done. So I want to go and thank uh, Dr. B, I think I'm saying that right, B, B-E-I, 
Uh, a lot of times, you know, and you guys might be saying, oh, well, why don't you know how to pronounce it? Well, a lot of times, the, there's a lot, little bit of a language barrier with a lot of these different companies. So, a lot of times, it's hard to really get that information. So, check it out. Other people, I'm sure, have reviewed this. Uh, cosmetic stuff like this, if you consider that, or healthcare stuff, uh, is huge on the internet. So, um, I'm sure uh, I'm one of the thousands of people who have reviewed this product. Um, I'm not going to turn it on and show you guys today because I'm not going to do that in my office here. What's great about it, it is available on Amazon, $39.99. Go into like a Rite Aid or a Walgreens or a Joe Schmo's drugstore and see what a water pick costs you. They're pretty expensive. Uh, $39.99 with free shipping. Uh, this is not a prime item, but it does have free shipping. Um, and as far as the time frame on that, I'm not 100% sure as far as how long it takes you. I'm sure it's different options. but. Definitely check it out. The price is right. Um, as far as any bit of other information, I misspoke earlier. It does have IPX67 waterproofing, water resistant. So you can take it in the shower, which is great. So now I don't have to be as careful when I'm in there with it. Um, it does say it's safe for the shower. Uh, easy to fill six ounce reservoir, uh, and it gives you 40 seconds of water flossing action. So a lot of times when they put the the time frame in these devices, they kind of do that uh, with, I guess, kind of the, the average, what they would consider the, the, the best amount of time, not the best amount of time, uh, I guess the proper amount of time for you to, to get a good cleaning. Brushing your teeth, like automatic tooth or electric toothbrush, I have a sonic toothbrush, uh, that thing, it's two minutes. So I brush my teeth for two minutes every day, it turns off, you know you're done. With this, you fill it up, water pick your teeth, do it for 40 seconds or whenever it turns off, and whenever the water runs out and you're done. So that's not a lot of time out of your day. You can get this done probably within two minutes by the time you fill it, use it. Two minutes out of your day, everybody has that uh, for the benefits of maintaining um, you know, your, your, your gums. So definitely check it out. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, let me know. Uh, if you have any personalized questions, whether it hurts or doesn't hurt. Uh, I don't have any problems. I don't really have sensitive gums. Uh, I did have sensitive teeth when I was younger, like to hot and cold, but only my bottom teeth. Um, that's about it, guys. I want to thank Dr. B for their generosity in sending me this item. Again, I'm always here to help you guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, drop me a comment. Email address is always in the description. And link is in the description as well. If you click that, it'll take you right to the Amazon uh, page. And as far as I'm trying to see the returns, uh, it says item is returnable within 30 days, but a restocking fee may apply. That's probably if you use it. So if you buy something like this, I don't recommend you using it. It's kind of gross. Um, I would recommend if you get this, do sanitize it, especially in today's day and age. Throw the bottom piece uh, in the sink. Wash it really well. Wash the, the um, you're able to wash the reservoir. Run some water, maybe some Listerine through it, uh, just to ensure everything's nice and clean and sanitized and then use it. Um, I assume that if you are going to send it back, uh, if you don't like it, you have a problem, they probably will charge a restocking fee because it is something that you, they're going to have to do something with. They can't sell it after it's been used. Even if the person's like, I didn't use it. Yeah, right. You know, they're not going to just sell it to somebody. So that's about it. Uh, it does come with the small USB cable for charging. It does not come with the wall jack. So we have to plug this into a USB port or a converter. Um, it does have a case as well an instruction manual, uh, pretty self-explanatory. I never really read them, uh, but you do have a little bit of tra a travel case. So that's pretty cool too helps to protect it. So that's it. I want to thank again the company. Once again, Dr. B, I love these companies. I always want to keep thanking them because they just, all these companies, they're so generous in sending me products to share with you guys in a review and for me to use and enjoy. Uh, I feel very fortunate to, uh, to have gotten this far with my YouTube channel and it continues to grow and I'm going to continue to work with companies and share these great products with you guys and give you guys my honest opinion. Now, if I have a problem with this, as you guys always know, um, Six months down the road, a year down the road, something comes up where I don't like it, I'm the first one to jump on a video and let you guys know whether I've had a good or bad luck with something. But so far, so good. Again, as always, let me know if I can help. And you guys be safe out there. Have a nice day and take care.